Do you just like do an IV push or do you put it in a bag or what do you do? So I do an IV push. So when I get the product in, I, you know, I go through everything again to set expectations. They know that this is research. They know that insurance isn't going to cover it. They know that there's no guarantees to anything. I go over the, the risks, which are basically, you know, infection at the site and that you may not see any results. And, and most people are good with that. Like I haven't had any problem. I go over the consent with them. I have them sign the consent. I'm a registered nurse. So if they want to speak to my medical director or have any questions, I have that available to them. Most of them are comfortable with speaking with me and, um, and we have them sign the consent. And then we go ahead and start the IV. Um, oh, actually, as, as me being a, a, a registered nurse, I do use a service for good faith exam. So we do do a good faith exam for the IV. So I'll get vitals, I'll start my IV, I'll get my line running. I am, def I am defrosting the um, stem cells either in my hand or I put it in my pocket while I'm taking vitals and, and doing all of that. Make sure there's absolutely no questions before I do it. Um, and um, so I've got the line running. I just, I had a Y, I just IV push it in. I draw it up with a syringe, a 3 ml syringe. I give it IV push. I let the, I let the saline flush in and then I chase it with a Myers cocktail. And um, just to give a little boost of it. And um, I usually do a 500 ml bag just because most people need fluids and I don't want to sit there for a full liter. So um, half a liter works pretty good. Um, and then I just follow up with them to see how they're doing. Um, do you ever get, because I, the, I had one guy who told me it was like, he's like, yeah, next time I want you to put it in a bag, I'm not, not going to do that.